another edition of CDN Sports Talk. Kasiloy, I'm Ryan Ochoa, and yes, you're not mistaken, si CDN. But this is special coverage of a, a special episode of CDN Sports Talk because it is Press Freedom Week here in Cebu. Welcome. Um, Press Freedom Week, by the way, is celebrated every September. Third September. Every September, and it's only in Cebu that we celebrate Press Freedom Week. And because of that, we have with us special na mga mga char <laughs> mga nilig sa sa sports writing. Well, the topic today is all about sports writing. Kasi, um, siempre sports talk. And but before we start, before we start, day, um, we we'll please. I'm inviting you to like our social media pages. We're at Facebook, we're at Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and we're also at X. Plus, we have channels at Viber and Viber, Telegram, and WhatsApp. And for the latest news, for the latest news of sports, and sports, entertainment, and everything else, we're at CDN.ph. Okay, so like what I said, kanina. Um, may buong ka nung familiar sa mga athletes diha fam- kayo nga familiar na gini pero mga si DNA o oh, unsa ba <laughs> we have the best of the best mga ngilig sa sports writing sa Cebu ilado ni siya the whole Philippines Charlotte di ba we have with us without further ado ako introduce ang mga, mga big three big three kano hai <laughs> ilado din mga athletes kay ilado ni Jun Miguelian here um Glendale Rosal and Manny Villaruel, welcome to CDN Sports Talk. Thank you, sa It's a historic episode. Historic. Yeah. Diba? Diba? historic yeah. <laughs> First time you got with, with us um, from Super B. Yeah, yeah. Super B. CDN and the Freeman. These are friends from, from different media outfits in Cebu. Oh, diba? Special, diba? Welcome, welcome to the show. Well, Musta. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to thank the management of the CDN Digital uh, for inviting us here, sharing our ideas about sports, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. local sports, mm-hmm. and, uh, and and I'm, I'm so proud also to be side by side with you, Brian, and of course these two guys. Termine na kung koyo bisan asa mga bisan asa as far as sports coverage is concerned. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, stay tuned and uh, more. Malingaw, more, malingaw. More, malingaw. <laughs> finish it, finish it. Uh, then, uh, Move on, so just enjoy. Yeah. Deal. Yeah. Kumusta? Uh, okay, lang. Uh, thank you, Bry, for having me because usually I'm the one who helps Brian magita o guest yes. for sports talk. And, <laughs> karun. Uh, awkward kayo nga ako na po lang na sa camera karon kay usually I'm the one who is on interviewing and covering sports events. So. Thank you. It's busy time. We're not just sitting there. Manix, say hi to our guest. Good afternoon. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Sidin, for this opportunity to share our knowledge about sports writing. Mm-hmm. And you said earlier, we are the best. Yes, we are the best second to you ah, okay. <laughs> in sports writing. Dugi dugi nagi dugi. I haven't been writing the talk. But anyway, thank you very much uh, for for coming here again. I mentioned good news. It's first time I think that you know we have. Uh, Sports writers from mm. different outfits in one episode, so yeah. I'm glad that you gave us that opportunity. Yeah. And of course, thank you to the to the management of each of our media outfits for allowing this sports about sports writing and how how it is and the challenges. The, the of course not the mga favorite moments. I'm sure na adagan tama share mga favorite moments. But we will start with what got you into sports writing. Well, um, shall I say, I, uh, ever since before <laughs> when I was still a kid. Uh, I love sports, no? Dagang kaya kung mga ganahang mga dua. And then, uh, moto na sports-minded ko. Uh, when I came, uh, when I came to college mm-hmm. na. And then, uh, sige, paghihapon ako ng sports. At one time, uh, somebody invited me mm-hmm. sa radio. Uh, how about you become a media man? Mm-hmm. So, nisood ko, uh, I started with uh, radio, Bumbu Radio. And then later on, uh, somebody hired me. Sa the Defund News Time Daily, uh, katung we back in 1990s pa so. Oh, di pa kaya ito dugay yun. Eh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> di pa kaya ito so, dugay. It all started uh, mm. from radio as a broadca- mm. uh, broadcast. Uh, it all started with a red bumbo radio then the uh, News Time Daily, and after News Time Daily for siguro mga seven years, five to seven years, 
of existence then uh, I was hired sa Sunstar mm-hmm. daily mm-hmm. and then uh, all of a sudden uh, na natao ang Sunstar Super Balita mm-hmm. then I, I came in uh, as a sports editor editor yeah uh, sports yeah. editor hindi mo ngingin hindi lang basta basta pero sports is really sports minded juga yeah uh, started so, because ganahan kag sports yeah uh, so dili kayo mm-hmm. listen na ko ang pag-adjust mm-hmm, no? mm-hmm. so as a sports editor not only a sports editor gali kay uh, when uh, sa super balita sa diyan implement ni og multi multitasking mm-hmm. uh, it involves also na sa news yes. and mm-hmm. uh, all around na all around ana mo na ana mo na eventually we all become all around na day i do also sa editorial mm-hmm. so and uh, also uh colon sa mga mm-hmm. so that all started but i always love uh, sports, sports writing yeah. manix ka manix uh, what what got you into sports uh, <clears throat> I, i always say this no that being a sports writer for mm-hmm. me is a gift from god mm-hmm. because i could still be very recall when i was in second year high school our values education teacher mamiri mm-hmm. antistanio told us to, to draw what mm-hmm. we want to be in life 10 years mm-hmm. from now The beautiful things in life happen by chance, not by choice. You know what, Bri? I wrote first feature stories, trivia, because I really like trivia. Being Pero hindi pa ni sports. Hindi ko sports. Uh-huh. When I started in July 1986 at the mm-hmm. Freeman, I write trivia stories. Mm-hmm. Kanang mga murag replays ba? Mm-hmm. Believe it or not, uh-huh. mga interesting things, which I researched from our library and translate it with credit. Mm-hmm. And then our publisher said, we need to have like my stories. And he made it regular. At first, Bri, wala ko'y bayad. But the thought is na akong pangahan mo na akong motivation. Mo Nagipay ko ba? Ngayulit na ako sa boarding house, magpalit ko ang newspaper. Tag- Makita niyo ang halan. Makita ko mo lang. Grabe ko. Until nga nawala o wala sila sports writer. Uh-huh. Mo na yung nag-start ko in December 1996. Uh-huh. Wala sila sports. Very interesting story. Uh-huh. I didn't know that story, man. But so anyway, sige. Ikaw. Ikaw may pinaka... Ano, pinaka... Bata. Bata. <laughs> There you go. Pinaka- you just po. say it. Ah, yeah. uh, kuan. Um, wala gi kay background when it comes to journalism uh, during my teenage years uh, every time maghatod ko lunch sa balay nilang lula ug ni Uncle Rico which is Rick, Rick Gabuya our Rick. managing editor diri sa CDN and our sports uh, editor for a long time sports editor yeah. pod sa Cebu Daily News Print sa mm-hmm. una uh, kada hatod nako uh, iya gi kong ikuan i encourage to take time uh, spend time to read the newspaper para daw ko no mapunan akong vocabulary not knowing ang mura day ka nang iya kong gi-prepare daan uh, eventually iya kong kwa na say sports writer and moto na abot ang time uh, when I was 18 I was recruited as a sports writer sa 18? 18 Very young. 18 years old 2009 sa Cebu Daily News that's the time I met Brian si Kelvin mm-hmm. Calvin si Uncle Rick pero so you also like sports oh di ba you, you, nag, mm. basketball mm. or boxing you don't know, yeah, you know you want some di ba nag on sa tungkol kamo ni ah me me oh. pero wala gi ko ka dayon og kuan kanang uh, dua fight kay mo kula tahon niya usa mo ina <laughs> <laughs> shout out shout out shout, shout out mommy glenda oh, <laughs> so anyway yeah, yeah interesting mm. but so anyway this one uh, um People would siguro like to know unsa yung mga perks of being a kind of sports writer. Well, well actually uh, as what man said that the career as being uh, became a sports writer by chance mm-hmm. it is not a uh, true background. No? Uh, we do not have uh, jur- uh, journalism like that. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, with our experience mm-hmm. I think that the experience uh, experience is the best, no? Mm-hmm. Best teacher. Uh, uh, best teacher, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, siguro uh, getting to know uh, oh, oh. getting to know some people mm-hmm. that you are covering mm-hmm. At, you are the least, most oh. you are one of the most important persons in in the in this group because mm-hmm. uh, they're they're speaking uh, respecting you oh uh, they're telling you so, so the respect value uh, yeah. the respect you yeah. get yeah. so so bali more makaingon sa gag kuan ba uh, as you said nga As, as we said nga, murag, we are, they are, they are appreciative of, of the sports writer, uh, yeah. so, so, and uh, another thing is, uh, it is very, uh, 
garbosan nato nga we can give some informations mm-hmm. to those who have not seen there so uh, bringing the game uh, nato sa mm-hmm. lagyo so that's one thing uh, part of the services siguro mm-hmm. as a sports writer and then uh, Passion also. Passion. It is yes, also passion. Pa- writing is also my passion. Manix, ikaw Manix, um, what is the best thing about being a sports writer? No, uh, what I love about sports writing, Brian, no, is mm-hmm. that it offers a lot of opportunities. Mm-hmm. First and foremost, number one, Gina, it enables you to be close to sports stars. Mm-hmm. Naturally, but, we are covering them, we are writing about them, so you mm-hmm. have easy access to them. Like for instance, John Mar Pajardo, Manny Pacquiao. Kanang ordinary people, they have to go through a long line. <laughs> Mudool ka, mag-isod sila, mag-inia. Uh-huh. Ba't kita sports writer? Pusahay gani. Atong pa makauban, kaon pa nato sila. Mm-hmm. Kaon, kaon. Maka side by side, you're shoulder to shoulder. Ba? Not work alone ba is ayods on our part. Kay, di, maka kayo na yung doon na mga tawa na. But we, because we are covering them, yan may makadaw nila. Number two, being a sports writer, you must be the first to where the action is. Kay kita may makover. Mm-hmm. So along that, it enables us to travel places. Mm-hmm. So never in my wildest dream, no, muna ang ganahan ko na yung sports. Kay, asa, asa magkano? Ang pinakano niyo? Huwag ako magdawang ba? Naka-travel tag US. US. Kami ni John Mix, naabot mig US. Dubai. Naabot mig Dubai. Abot kabir mig mga fights sa Pacquiao sa Macau, Malaysia, and other places because of sports writing. More importantly, uh-huh. we are, we enjoy what we are watching and uh-huh. we are paid for what we are doing. Uh-huh. So being a sports writer is a complete package for uh-huh. me. See? Oh, katang mga duha-duha pa mong sports writer. Well, sports writer naman. Bagan niyo sila. Di ba? Ikaw, Dil. Ako, uh, um, being in the thick of the action mm-hmm. and be able to uh, translate it into an article, that's mm-hmm. the biggest uh, perk that, mm-hmm. I've, that I've experienced being a sports writer because uh, nakakadiha, nagig ka sa action ba? And pwede mo i-detail para sa mga readers yung saan mo pag kuan kanang paghimog story sa game na gani so napay usahay nga sa ringside mapiksan kas dugo sa boxer <laughs> ano ba oh, may ano mga instances ba no oh okay. uh, yeah. several times already mm-hmm. usahay kali ka ng mga boxers nga mm-hmm. magsige sila kini kumagwa oh oh wala wala it happened that to me right? mm-hmm. sa sa Manila uh, the fight of general casimero mm-hmm. no uh, diha ko sa Kilit. And then, naamugin siya na yung habit ba nga mag- magsigit uh, pang mm. pumuha. So, di ako, ay kaling nagkaligay ko. After after that, uh, sa away, ngayon sa dyan pa sa ilo. Sorry kayo. Okay, kayo Kibaw di siya. Kibaw di siya. Wala niya, matayin na yun ba? So, I mean, uh, there's a lot of things mm. nga uh, wala niyo nag-expect. Mm-hmm. Wala ka mag-expect nga na, 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 na himo rin. Na, ano, like what Manny said nga, ah, uh, dali na kayo ito makasuot and then ang uban gali magpapicture-picture mm. maglisot na kita mo rin kumo na kayo na yung magpapicture <laughs> na sa mga uh, yeah. celebrities eh. mm-hmm. yeah. so hay pag gali uh, lisa uh, ang sila mismo ganahan sa magpa, mm-hmm. magpapicture na ito mm-hmm. so, there are times mm-hmm. when players mar kita pa yan mar kita pa yung kuha nila that's uh, how how important mm-hmm. we are nga ito nila mm-hmm. uh, so interesting sa kayo ang yeah. ang uh, Sports, sports writing, writing yeah, correct. So, but if there are, yeah, no, no, mga perks and all the mga best things about it, but there are also challenges yeah. of being a sports writer. Manik, can you tell us a little bit about that? Kano challenges of being a sports writer? Said. In mm-hmm. my experience, no, in my 28 years of sports writing, wala kayo ko nakita ng mga challenges because kay, sports mo good sa good, mm-hmm. exciting, enjoy the game. So, ang mga challenges lang na ko nakita kanang pagkuha gid sa in-depth stories in mm-hmm. sports like how to interview mm-hmm. properly kanang magkuha ka gid na ganay mga kuan in-depth stories ba kay as a sports writer mo gid na commission kanang usay ma frustrated ko nga dili ko ka deliver og nindot na stories kay for me sports writing is not that about giving the outcome of the game so, so there's sports more writers there's... are storytellers So, so we should dig deeper dig. in every story. Pero, in kini, is, was there any time na ang imang source wat nalipay? Kana? Da, na yung dagan. Or kanang kusapan ka, no? Hindi mo mayo, or something. Oh, in my... O, sahay ka na, mga sayop na na sa mga organizers sometimes nga. Masayop tagbutang, o di ta sayop ko na to, kay... kay Permiro gina kong experience, ano, naka, nasuko kay, ano, three medals ako, no, kay five medals. <laughs> Isaw mo na to nga, sa medal standings, tolo lang dyan nga. Lima ko no ka-book, so yun na na, ganun. So, uh, makasukan tayo mo yun na na. Kumura na. So, atong dawa ito, no? 
part na na sa being as part. Ikaw, what's your next? Well, ang, ang big challenge na ko is uh, how to write nga makundig good and readers, not only the details, but hmm. uh, more magbasa sila nga naasad sila dito sa actual hmm. na. Po, no? So, that's... Uh, <laughs> mao nang uh, the angling the angling, the angling of the story oh, oh, how, how to write challenges oh, ano kanu oh, oh. sempre de ganta and then we 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 really try to like uh, competition we again competition. at the end of the day so we really like to out, out smart each other oh. when it comes to angling di ba di ang mga dog so yeah. to, uh, to add to John Mix right that is really again we're all as a, as in our profession that is always the challenge mm. oh. to present our stories in a manner that it is more interesting mm. that is something new because most of the people already know the outcome of the game so mm, they will no longer be interested in reading your stories which you already have seen so mm. that is always the challenge and we can get that by tour interview by digging deeper deeper stories so that is always the challenge to create a story within the story yeah uh, like for example uh, <laughs> social media karon ni ang kita ni mo social media di always uh, the score only mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. giving only different informations of the results but in our side we have to make the story no mm-hmm. we have to make the story ang ila is information so uh, sa result basic but, uh, basic lang kayo mm-hmm. so dry kayo ang mm-hmm. ang pagtan-aw sa mga uh, viewers no mm-hmm. pero uh, uh, sa to ah uh, if they're going to read what the, uh, story, the entire the story, story the entire story din mafeel nila So mm. there's a lot of motivation mm. why you read this. Mm. So ang ang mao na naka diferensya na to sa social media. Na a lot of organizers may ngoday ng mga organizers. Na, ah, we don't need this is uh, these people because we already have the social media the information. Score na lang. Which is like nang pagbasa. Which is very very tanaw na ko ba nga uh kuwang pa gyud sila mm-hmm. uh, education regarding that to why 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 I read stories. So they, they will not become a, a wide reader mm-hmm. no? so ma mao na naka diferensya sa social media uh, besides sa uh, kanang kuan kanang uh, mental block na mag maka deliver ka mm-hmm. og kanang good article para sa readers kay kuan pod ang lack of collaboration between sports writers ug organizers mm-hmm. based, based, based on experience sa uh, Ironman 2022 We were given an all access ID ang ending didi mi pwede maka pwesto bisa nasa and during last July palarong pambansa pod uh, same experience pod nga uh, kuan gi kanang prohibited me to enter court side mo to ang ang resulta ang outcome din mo ma deliver og tarong ang kuan ang news nga dapat namong i-deliver ba? so there should be collaboration between organizers and Uh, media or sports writers yung mo-cover kay considering uh, ilang ipang-invite ba? So, ganahan sila nga nindot ang balita mo gawas. They should collaborate with us kung asa mi pwede makapwesto, asa mi dapit maka pwede, pwede maka-interview. Ano, so, isa na siya. No? Kanang, that's the biggest ato, sa challenge. Organizers lang siya. Pero pra, pra, apart from that, um, that's mm-hmm. not, that doesn't always happen, right? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Generally, if you really think about it, sa inyong pilaka years in sports writing, oh, kami it's always... Mo, kami nalay mo discuss it. Uh, you have to remember also that there are a lot of readers who did not understand the role of the game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's our responsibility. Kinang lang ato ni Pasayas, ng mauna, ng mauna. Otherwise, Mo ko ajila, so many pagkasuwat, ano to, maglibog mo ba ano? So that's, uh, so that's another mm-hmm. thing, mm-hmm. uh, ma-challenge ka ba? Unsa o ni mo yung readers? Make it, make it <laughs> ano na, understandable sila uh, ha, di ba? Sometimes you have to say na, uh, layman's term kaya para magkasabot sila. Kaya sa, uh, naman ito kayo, some writers po, different different people, different styles, uh, na iba-iba na kinanganahan kayo kayo, uh, deep na kayo mo. Pero there are also some readers who would want nga na, di ba? So, may ganit kay daghan lagi tama mga sports writers and <laughs> daghan kalok styles different styles if you notice if you check out the articles Manny yeah. Dale and and Jun Mix lehe gitu style it's not there's no one kanang uniform yeah, thing yeah, yeah, yeah. different tirada kaya moment ni niyo na le, we we try to <laughs> a bit and angles yeah. ba sports writing is not like a a police blotter mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> templated na <laughs> templated uh, diba? yeah, that's, that's one thing you have to understand sports writing so anyway we go Um, to this one this one is also important because if there are sports writers there are lots of uh, uh, mga potential they have to especially sa Safira which is about to start this weekend by the way um, na may mga promising na mga ano you, you did talks yeah. with them uh, diba? what does it take to be, uh, become a good sports writer Let's start with you Manny uh, in my lectures in school level press conference the teachers always have a difficulty of finding sports writer and I give them one advice If you want a good writer, find a news writer or a feature writer. Either of these two, 
can make a good writers. But talking about sports writing, for me, there are only two skills. Mm -hmm. For those who want to be sports writers, you only need two set of skills to be a good sports writer. Number one, good command of the language that you are going to use. You're writing, you're organizing thoughts. So it's better that you should master the language that you are, the medium that you are using in your article. And number two is knowledge about sports. You must know the rules and regulations of the game because if you don't have knowledge, you have a difficulty in writing sports because sports writing is more technical. It's not mm. just it bitter, is plain bitter. sports writing because Correct. you are dealing with an action event. Mm -hmm. Translate it into words to make a story for your readers to understand what the game is all about. Mm -hmm. So that is it. Uh, Koan, based sa experience from Brian's mm -hmm. uh, advices before, kay siya ang kodang no. sports editor sa una. Mawoka ni Demark. Huwag ni Uncle Rick. Uh, Koan, uh, always read uh, articles kay dako ay nagtabang to expand your vocabulary and improve your Koan, pwede mm -hmm. mong style, style mm -hmm. writing and Koan, pwede ka nang ma ma-plan siya ni Mudaan on sa'y flow kay uh, to add more na lang ni sa gisulti ni Sir Manny niya, Koan, pwede ka nang Dili ka mahimong sports writer if you're not passionate about sports. Passion, so, you, should, you should be a sports person. Mm -hmm. You know, lang, you kay ka ng passion with certain sports or several sports. Okay, para, kuhan ba? Nagyay kay background ba sa terms? Considering uh, being a sports writer, you have to memorize, daghan kay mga ka ng jargons, mga terms nga ara ara mo makita ng certain na sports. So, Eventually, mura na nag... Oh, when when you're good at it already, mura na nag-expire nag <laughs> nag 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 niya. Oh, mura na siya. Ikaw, Jun Mings. Well, for me, uh, we have to simplify our, our, our words mm. and the stories. And we have we don't forget the, the inverted uh, pyramid. Mm -hmm. uh, that's inverted right, pyramid. Uh, inverted pyramid. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that's the, the, the interesting. Mm. No? That, that caught the interest of the readers. Mm. No? So, if you have that one, and then uh, don't write... If you did not understand it, you ask me, but if you don't know, you don't force yourself to uh, to write that. Kay siguro, lang yung readers so, so, to, to add, Reba, mo na akong ingon sa mga students. And, and besides that, uh, we in sports. Uh, when we when we are looking at the newspaper, the the sports section, what we call it, toys mm. department, no? <laughs> toys department. In other words, mm. um, and sports has its own dictionary, mm. no? Yeah, it has own. its own dictionary. Mm. Uh, Mas surprise lang ka katung mga readers sa uh, katung mga regular news. Then there are words nga tanaw ni mo na nung kills. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not applicable. <laughs> right. So, uh, that's one thing. Challenging sa nanato as sports writer. Saan yung pagpasabot na ng kuhan? We are using some words which is not applicable mm -hmm. nga to sa uban ng mga section. That's, no? so, that's what makes it interesting. Diba? That's why, mm -hmm. that's why na sa yung mga ingon na, you know, it's not really easy so, na yung mga uban writers na news maglisod ay sa sports. Oh, uh, yeah. Diba? Well, ang, uh, I, I remember Rocky Nazarino, who's one of the uh, sports writer, no, a national. And then uh, nakita siya sa mga editor sa news editor, gikuha siya sa news. Kay ang uh, uh, ilang pagtanaw sa uh, sports writers, a uh, good uh, news reporter. Oh yeah, sa, yeah. Sa mm -hmm. kuan, sa diba? mga, uh, the way we get mga deeper, ano, deeper. Ano, we have to go deeper. We have to go deeper. We Ang sports writer, dali ra ka maka-adapt sa news writing niya. Muna mo ingon ko, Brian, sports writer are special. Are special. Mm -hmm. Because we can write anything. Mm -hmm. We can write column, mm -hmm. we can write opinion, yeah, sure. we can write news. But kung atong balihon, ang news, yung mga sign of cover boxing, matras na. Listen, <laughs> listen. Kung kita pa, kung kita pa, kung sunog, crime. Dali na. Dali na. Dali na. Sports writers can write. So, muna mm -hmm. maka-ingon ko, we always have an advantage to other writers because of that our special skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The best writer in Manila is uh, from the sports writer. Mm -hmm. yes. We really would like to extend this because it's a special edition of CDN Sports Talk, a press freedom week there is a Cebu. But sadly, we really just need this enough time. <laughs> so your parting, ano lang, parting words for katong mga aspiring na mga sports writers who kanang sa, sa karun mo, should I really go into that path or not? What are your um, advice, advices for them? Start with you. Yeah, first of all, Bray, thank you again for this opportunity. No, because Although, lahit ang outfit, but 
I know deep in your heart and in me also that you are not doing this for your own self or for CDN, mm -hmm. but you are doing this for the entire Subo media. That is the very reason why I'm here. And katong mga gusto mag journalist no, daghan gag opportunities if you will follow a career path to be a sports journalist. And kung naa na mong ganit mo na, akong one thing yung advice niyo, always be a journalist with a sense of purpose and meaning. Do not store stories for the sake of news only. Dig the interesting stories, like for example in sports, you write what are these athletes have been going through before reaching the summit of success. So in that way, you are inspiring people also through your <coughs> manner of writing story. Okay, very good. Ganun, you can manage mo. Okay, very deep ang iyang ano. So I really hope you, you, you listen. You can just play this back, you know, just pull that back. Listen to Manny and of course, Siki Dale, ikaw Dale? Ako lang, piece of advice lang from my editors po and from my experience that you're writing to inform, not to impress. So, avoid, avoid, kuhan ka ng writing your stories nga mura o puno, nag-flowery words. Like, make it simple because kuhan para si mong readers ba. So, kuhan ka ng, sana? Um, right to right to inform, not to impress. So, right to inform, not to impress. Yeah. Very well said. Also, de ba? Mga 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 bata bata pa naman. No na idea. Jun mix, Jun mix. Well, actually, uh, ona stana na ako din pa salamat sa si Dey, no, for this opportunity, uh, giving a chance us uh, to share our little knowledge of mm -hmm. sports writing to the aspiring sports writers or uh, journalism. You can uh, write stories. With feelings, no, and nindot kayo nga. Kana yung at the same time when you are writing stories, say to you that at the same time you are also a reader. So kay lisod man sa kayo, masikil ka suat, and then at the same time, pasabto ni mo yung pagalingon as a reader. So that's the the nindot kayo nga nga experience din namo kay sometimes good bina to mga bago bago bright. Ako ganahan ko suat lang suat. Submit it to stories. Pag humana na, sila na bahala ito. Ang editor na bahala. Editor na bahala. So, pati nga, mag-unso, mag-uksik-suwat. Until now, dagang pa kayo musulti na, ah, bahala na, editor na bahala. And then, you are not trying to develop yourself pa. Ang ako, and then later on, na nakat-on ko, akong basahon, ang akong sinuwatan, i-compared sa itong edited. So, mag-uha yung diferensya. Ano, gitanawa, gitanawa. Yeah. Pro o yung mga editing. There's a lot of room to improve for me. Mao na yung nula na. So, mao to, hinahinay ko. Ano kung saan sa gino? That's where you can learn dyan. Ah, yun yung learn. Compare. So, not only nga, pagso din yung, don't be content na you are there already. You are already a reporter. So, there's a lot of room to improve. More than that. Sige, very well said. Again, for the three of you, big three, Char. Thank you very much. Also, on behalf of CDN Digital, um, with regard, uh, in, uh, in celebration of the Press Freedom Week, we want to thank you for allowing this episode to happen. Um, again, very historic. We have <laughs> Big Three in Cebu Media in sports writing here in one show. And thank you to to the management of your uh, respective outfits. Thank you for allowing this to happen. And um, little shout out lang to our managing editor, my sports editor, who taught me. Remember. Um, Dili biya jud ko. I mean, kita tanan yata dili ta kurso na journalism jud. But we we succeeded in sports writing and most of it's because of Sir Rick Gabuyat. Get well soon. Hope to see you. My first back here. My first editors. Sir Rick Gabuyat. Hi, sir. Get well soon, sir. God bless you. Yeah. So thank you also for allowing this to happen. Ralph Olsen Manila and Guard that. Now thank you very much for allowing this to happen. Thank you guys. Um, we hope. Next in the future, na magtapok na sa tao for talks like this, and happy press freedom, press no press freedom week sa ato ang tanan. Congratulations to all the the katong mga organizers sa fun run last Sunday and the forums. There are different forums within the week. Thank you very congratulations. Thank you very much to those who attended. And we have culmination sa karon sa tomorrow Saturday. So thank you, Manix, uh, Dale, and Junmix. Thank you very much again um, for coming. Um, Thanks, Brian. Good luck. 
and stay healthy. <laughs> stay, stay healthy. In behalf of the uh, entire city and digital um, team, I'm Brian Ochoa. I'm, uh, I'm Ella Chica, content producer behind the camera. Thank you very much. This has been another successful, and thank you, successful episode of CDN Sports Talk. I'll catch you again next week. Bye.